My name is Manush Khush. Uh, I am now uh, editor of Doinik Statesman, the English, uh, uh, the Bangla version of uh, uh, The Statesman, uh, uh, which has been in print for the last 140 years. Uh, it gets printed from uh, Calcutta, uh, Delhi, Bhuvaneshwar, and uh, Siliguri. Uh, in 71, I was, uh, I had just been transferred uh, from Delhi to Calcutta, and uh, I was a cub reporter uh, who didn't know much about East Bengal, for that matter, East Pakistan, and uh, had no connection with uh, uh, this part of Bengal uh, in terms of family uh, and uh, otherwise. And uh, but when the non-cooperation movement, uh, you know, Bangabandhu gave the call for non-cooperation movement. Um, I knew that he was making all kinds of demands based on six point for East Pakistan's autonomy, but uh, otherwise I didn't know much, didn't didn't have much interest. But it was only after the non-cooperation movement that I started getting interested and said, "Hey, what's happening there? Uh, uh, find out." And uh, and on 25th March, March uh, you know, after the Operation Searchlight. Very little was trickling out of East Bengal, East Pakistan, and uh, uh, I don't know, I don't know, but there was an inner stirring in uh, in me, and uh, said that uh, uh, there were reports that large scale killing had been uh, perpetrated, but what was the extent was totally unknown, and uh, I know I with just rupees ten in my pocket. I, uh, it was a, a weekly off day of mine, and uh, a colleague of mine, a senior colleague of mine, who was from this part, from East Bengal, said, let's go to the border. Uh, uh, that was on 27th, and, uh, uh, and see uh, what's happening. Uh, if, if we get, you know, travelers from the other side, you know, at Bonga, uh, we shall get a story. And uh, that's how it started. Well, uh, we got at the end of the day, uh, after a long wait of uh, ten, 10 hours, we got an Italian gentleman uh, by the name of Falacetti, who had seen the carnage uh, in Dhaka, because he himself was staying in this hotel, which was then known as Intercon, and was witness to uh, the burning down of the people office, uh, uh, the people, it was a newspaper, uh, which was just across the street here, uh, across Intercon, and uh, and he saw it, uh, you know, everything happening from the rooftop of Intercon. Mm. Um, uh, next day, uh, uh, when we carried the story, it created a stir. Uh, I was called by the editor that uh, uh, it's, it's a good story. It's a very, very good story. And there will be a car at your disposal every morning at 6 and uh, you go to the border. But the problem uh, at that time was uh, we, uh, the Indian newspapers, uh, we didn't know what was the government's policy, meaning government of India's policy uh, towards this. Uh, because one was calling it a civil war, one was, uh, there was another section which was calling it uh, Shadi Kare uh, fight for independence, uh, and uh, the government was really in a fix, uh, uh, Delhi. And uh, we had uh, not been told, briefed by anybody, uh, neither by Delhi or by my editor, how to cover. Uh, uh, because uh, uh, the editor said that, uh, well, uh, uh, you are entering a foreign land, mind you. Uh, and then you have no papers to, you know, back you. So, if you get caught, uh, the Pakistan will certainly uh, uh, shoot you. And then uh, uh, don't do anything uh, which will uh, be uh, absolutely uh, risky. Uh, uh, but uh, 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 but one great thing, he was Mr. Nanpuria, one great thing that he suggested was that uh, whenever you go inside, take a photographer along so that there is a proof you can illustrate your story with pictures and can convince readers that you had really been inside uh, East Pakistan or Bangladesh, whatever you call it. And it started 
from 27 28 28 we entered via satkhira uh, stayed there overnight uh, uh, and uh, came to a place called shorisha uh, it's on way to jaso and uh, stayed there overnight because the fighting was on uh, the park military had been pushed back into jasor cantonment and uh, uh, the fight was on for the jasor town uh, and uh, uh, first on first morning early morning uh, uh, you know the epr people from satkhira took me along uh, east pakistan rifles took me along and said that but you are going there at your own risk uh, if you get killed shot um, uh, it's your responsibility i said nothing doing and uh, uh, reached 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 uh, jasor uh, uh, around 9 in the morning and saw what uh, there is a palace called chachor rajbari uh, uh, raj of chachor and there uh, what what uh, you know moved me to tears was piles of dead bodies lying uh, on the wayside inside a pool Uh, and uh, uh, there, the people came rushing to me, hearing that I was from Calcutta, from Calcutta media. Said, "Dekhun, dekhun ki kore se paak hain dar bahini." Then went round the went into Jaisal town, went to Peel Khana, which is bang opposite Cantonment, Jaisal Cantonment. Jaisal Cantonment is a huge uh, setup. and uh, the fighting was still on because uh, the park army was uh, fighting back to recapture uh, just so uh, it was a prestige fight them uh, for for them and uh, the went round the mood was uh, very upbeat uh, there was a watchtower uh, uh, a fire brigade watchtower and uh, um, you know i went on top of it and uh, found uh, machine guns uh, had been you know set up there and uh, there was a um, pakistan air force plane which you know made a very low f- you know it flew very low to make a recce so there was a hail of gunfire and uh, they said uh, uh, for god sake you better leave uh, we don't want any foreign journalist to get killed um uh, i said all right uh, 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 but but i stayed in the town for another 3 uh, 4 hours and uh, around lunch time i i left just so on my way back uh, uh, you know the uh, word had gone around just so town that there was a calcutta journalist um, you know visiting the city and a horde of italian fathers and nuns uh, came rushing to me and with piles of letters uh, uh, Fatima, it's called Fatima House. Uh, it's a Fatima Hospital, come uh, nunnery, come. Uh, uh, it's a convent, and uh, they said that that morning we had to post letters for more than a month. Said, would you be kind enough uh, to uh, post these letters from Calcutta when you get back to Calcutta? They were all crying. Said uh, because Rome doesn't know how we are and what state uh, we are in, and uh, it would be great. And uh, what. <laughs> made me cry also was that they said that we don't have any money left to pay you for the postage i said i need your blessings i just need your blessings so i put all that pile of letters in inside my bag i was carrying a bag and came rushing uh, to calcutta and next day uh, reached uh, calcutta around midnight uh, till about 2:30 i typed the story uh, it was no you know, no age of computers i uh, typed my story till 2 in the morning uh, 2 to 15 and the whole page was carried pictures of jaso uh, uh, there was the page one story that was my main story uh, guns still booming in jaso that was the headline uh, and uh, the whole back page uh, carried pictures of uh, sites of jaso uh, and uh, that was really the turning point in me i said that well that's a commitment which i have to fulfill uh, i must be by the side of the freedom fighters and uh, come what may uh, even if it uh, costs me my life um, uh, i will i'll go all out i'll go the whole hog and then what happened was it started i started making forays inside bangladesh through various borders the next one was through chuwadanga through gede darshana 
to Chuadana. There I meet, um, um, he's still alive. He was a sector commander, uh, sector commander there. Uh, he was a wing commander uh, uh, at that time. Later on, he became the sec sector commander, uh, Major Abu Osman Chaudhary. Mm, seeing me, uh, you know, first time uh, somebody from India and Calcutta, he and his wife, uh, you know, literally, I mean, hugged me uh, so hard that you know, I started crying. I said, you know, what is it uh, in, in uh, me and them, you know, that binds us together? There must be something. There must be some bonding somewhere uh, because uh, I am a total stranger. Uh, they don't know me for Adams. And uh, here he is hugging me. The wife uh, said that, no, 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 he must first eat. And uh, but then you talk about, you know, the, uh, the, uh, about, you know, the battles that you have fought. And she made me sit down. She, I felt such a motherly touch in her that uh, I didn't know what to say. I said, I'll never be able to repay, you know, uh, what you have done. And uh, made me sit down. He, uh, she uh, uh, did a lot of Rannabari in the midst of battle, mind you. And uh, fed me, my uh, uh, photographer, and uh, said, uh, you must come. You must come via Churang every day. Uh, Tomar, uh, I want to see your face every day. And it was there that I met uh, Haba Doctor, uh, Dr. Ashabul Haq, uh, a great freedom fighter. Uh, he was, I think, MPA uh, from Chuadanga, a Wami League MPA, member of the Provincial Assembly. And uh, he was a radical humanist, um, uh, uh, M.N. Roy's follower. And seeing me, uh, someone from Calcutta, he too started crying. I said, let us not cry that this is hour of battle and uh, let us be tough and uh, uh, said, uh, you must come here. After two days, again, I went to Chodang and there I, in, in uh, Abu Usman Chaudhary's uh, office, I found um, a man uh, sp speaking in um, Oxonian accent um, uh, with a hat on, uh, felt hat on, and seeing me, uh, you know, express surprise who I was and uh, said, Calcutta, oh my God, no, what the hell you are doing here? I said, I've come to cover the war. Uh, uh, Abu Usman uh, introduced me to him and said, he's uh, Nurul Qadir Khan, Deputy Commissioner of Babna CSP. Uh, he, I found him to be every inch, uh, you know, a Brit. And I said, uh, uh, I said, uh, I said, uh, what brings you to uh, Chuana? I said, I've come here to collect uh, arms and ammunition uh, to Pabna, and, uh, and and I'm collecting it, and I'm getting back to Pabna. Uh, uh, I said, I want to come along with you. I am a photographer. I said, you're welcome at your own risk. Uh, and, uh, you know, there was one engine and two coaches uh, uh, which were uh, attached to the engine. And we started from Chuadanga uh, at um, uh, around 6.30 in the evening. And uh, the special train chugged at a speed of 15 kilometers because his instruction was, if it gets derailed, you know, there won't be a major accident. So 10 kilometers to 15 kilometers should be the maximum speed. So uh, eventually, uh, the special train of two coaches uh, uh, reached uh, Ish Ishodi uh, at 4.30 in the morning. And uh, all these boys, uh, Mukti Vahini uh, boys, were waiting there for Nurul Qadir Khan. And uh, there was this, uh, um, uh, I think he's one of the bravest freedom fighters I've ever met, uh, Rafiqul Islam Bokul. Uh, he was an Awami League Chhatru League uh, uh, leader, local Chhatru leader. Later on, I'm told he, he became a BNP MP, whatever it is. And uh, they, they forgot to <laughs> seeing me. I don't know. You know, uh, sound from Calcutta has come to cover the war. We, I went to the local uh, telephone exchange. Uh, they were uh, inside the local jail where the Baluchis, uh, the Punjab regiment and uh, Baluch regiment soldiers had been locked up inside. Because um, Pabna was one of the very few towns where uh, local boys had fought the battle 
and had evicted and then you know put them uh, put the Pakistanis uh, uh, behind bars, uh, liberate the town, and uh, uh, Nurul Qadir Khan then suddenly said, "Come along, come to the collectorate." And uh, there I saw uh, absolutely out of the world scene. I found a little boy, you know, in half pant. Uh, and a half shirt, khaki pant, half shirt, moving around, moving into the uh, Nurul Qadir Khan's uh, office, coming out and giving me a smile and uh, a welcome smile and said, Kya I said, uh, who this boy was? Uh, he said, it's not a boy, it's a girl. Uh, I said, what's her name? Shirin Banu. Mithil, I am told, Shirin Banu Mithil. Uh, her mother too uh, was a freedom fighter. And so the mother had uh, given Mithil to uh, Nurul Khan and said, here is my daughter for the cause of, uh, you know, liberating the country. So, mm, but uh, around noon, we got a message that the Pakistanis had landed at Nongodbari. Uh, and uh, there were frantic messages coming from Nongodbari, messengers that, and they were heading speedily towards uh, Pabna. And uh, we uh, rushed back. We rushed back. Uh, uh, I mean, he wanted to rush back to um, uh, want to cross uh, uh, Podda, Podda River, uh, because the special train had gone back uh, to Chowdhury. So uh, he said, uh, "Let's do things very fast." There was this Captain Huda. I think who, he was assassinated. Uh, uh, during the November uprising of 75, who said that things are pretty, uh, they are moving so fast that we might get caught. Uh, so <clears throat> a convoy of seven Toyotas uh, was lined up and uh, we headed for the Chorland, uh, for the Chorland. 7th or 8th of April, uh, uh, we headed straight to, uh, to the Chorland uh, and uh, you know in the Podda Chorland you have uh, small hamlets of uh, Maji's boatmen. The Maji said that, well, we can't cross. Uh, don't you see? Uh, absolutely menacing clouds have gathered. And uh, if, if uh, there is a jhod, I mean, uh, none, us, none of us would survive. I said, my da felon, kite da felon, ami zamuna. Ami nodi parhumuna. So uh, he really, I mean, he got scared. He said, Manush, we are going to get caught. Uh, no way we can. Do you know swimming? I said, I know nothing. <laughs> uh, uh, of course, he said, uh, even if I know, uh, I won't be able to swim. <clears throat> and then I said, how about the next one? Let's try. And I told him that, uh, you know, uh, don't uh, threaten the Majis. Uh, Nurul Qadir Khan, I told him, don't threaten the Majis. Uh, you know, you have to lure them. Uh, some of the money that you're carrying. Uh, uh, you open the uh, uh, you know suitcase and show him that if you take us across, half of it will be yours. And uh, when we went to the next village, uh, Hamlet, it worked. The trick worked. And uh, the Majis, the four Majis, we engaged four boats. And the Majis said, "Sir, Allah ka se dua karein, dua karein, jate hamra par hote pari." And by God, I, I must say, God saved us that day. Uh, my only regret is that, uh, uh, you know, I wanted to climax it, uh, my coverage with uh, uh, surrender ceremony in Dhaka, but uh, somehow I got uh, uh, entangled in the war coverage of Jasor and Khulna. From Jasor, uh, Jasor fell uh, on 5th, 6th, 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 7th, and then I got tied down with the mountain division, the Indian 9th mountain division I was moving with. Uh, uh, there was a fierce, one of the fiercest battles that Indian army fought was in Fultala, Battle of Fultala near Khulna. Uh, it, it raged for about six days, so I got bogged down. But uh, uh, I think one of the, the sights and sounds that I uh, saw and heard, my God, I'll never forget them. Uh, it's its fiercest, and uh, alongside the Indian Army, the Mukti Jodhas, they did a wonderful job. Uh, Major Jalil, uh, I had moved along with him, uh, uh, and uh, uh, 
uh, I stayed half of uh, uh, those days along with his men, half with, with the ninth uh, Mountain Div. And uh, mm, the coverage I did on, um, you know, Khulna fell a day after Dhaka. Dhaka fell on 16th, Khulna fell on 17th. Because this uh, uh, brigadier, Pakistan brigadier Hayat Khan, he wouldn't surrender. So he was coaxed into surrendering and uh, the sights I saw, I've never seen such sights in my life. Um, uh, the, the killing that took place uh, before, uh, uh, you know, Pakistanis resorted to absolute large scale killing of Bengalis. Uh, and Bengalis in turn also, you know, took revenge a part of it. Uh, I must be fair. Uh, but but initially it was started by the Biharis and the uh, and the military jointly. Uh, it took a heavy toll of Bengali lives in Khulna. Uh, but uh, the fiercest battle was in full Tala. I have never, for six nights we just couldn't sleep, six nights, day and night. Uh, the guns boomed and they boomed at such decibel level that, uh, well, uh, uh, you know, uh, incredible. I had the honor of uh, interacting with, uh, because of the coverage that I was doing, and Statesman was read by <coughs> the government in exile, <coughs> uh, right from Tajuddin Shaib to uh, Kamru Zaman, Mansur Ali, and others. And uh, uh, they would, uh, and then other sector commanders. And uh, whether it was Khalid Musharraf, uh, whether it was uh, Jalil, it was Siyad uh, um, Dutt, uh, uh, they are uh, all, uh, uh, you know, had been to various battle zones, um, vector sectors, and uh, had uh, done a lot of war coverage uh, during those times. I mean, if I, uh, you know, it will take nights if I have to Are recount all that. Uh, uh, I think one of the uh, one thing that struck me the most during those nine months of liberation war was that whichever sector I went to cover. Uh, you know, I used to sit down uh, with the Mukti Jodhas during their breakfast or lunch or dinner, or whatever uh, they were having. And uh, there were uh, there were four or five Muslim Mukti Jodhas, there were four or five, you know, there used to be a big thala uh, in which Mori and um, Madam had been mixed and uh, uh, the Mukti Jodhas used to share, you know, they used to grab and have it. And uh, uh, they were Muslims, they were Buddhists, they were Hindus, and they were Christians uh, sharing food from the same uh, thala. There was no division. There was no, and that's what you know inspired me more. Uh, you know, uh, the, the, that made my commitment even stronger. I said, here is a cause for which I have to, and I have to, you know, um, even even at the risk of my life, I will. Uh, do things the way uh, it 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 uh, the bonding was done by the liberation by these ideals, and there was no division at all during those nine months. Now we see so much of it, uh, but in those months, nine months, I I used to tell uh, I had told Zia uh, Major Zia, I told Khalid Musharraf, uh, I told Abu Usman Chaudhary, uh, how come? Uh, uh, except, except Abu Osman Chaudhary, except uh, uh, the other two, Khalid Musharraf and uh, Zia didn't, uh, you know, make any comment. But Abu Osman Chaudhary was so forthright. He said, "Amra Shawai Bangali, Amra Shawai Bangali," and uh, that made my commitment even stronger, sturdier. It's a great honor that she has bestowed on Indians. She has done a tremendous salute to Sheikh Hasina. I said, you shake your for that.